Spirit, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So this is about being a very, very difficult situation. There might be people around you that are causing you a lot of problems and causing you, um, making you feel very, very uncomfortable. Uh, you know, you're having to defend yourself in this particular situation. They may be, you know, um, it's, it's a situation where you have to watch your back because there's sharks there. So they are, they are doing things around you uh, that is causing um, you to be in, you know, um, in danger, really. So, you know, maybe they are threatening uh, whatever they're doing is uh, affecting your work or it's, um, you know, they're trying to bring you down rather. So, you know, you're having to watch your back over there and defend yourself with that um, uh, dangerously uh, living dangerously card so um it looks like you know there are people around you that are not really for you and very much against you there it looks like you know you need to bring a little bit of fun back into life again you're taking things a little bit too seriously as far as that work goes so there might be people around you that you need to associate with uh to get your mind of whatever is going on uh and get your if you're feeling a bit down or feeling a little bit depressed there are people around you that you need to maybe socialize a little bit with uh in order for you to feel um you know less depressed or less upset because you're dealing with such a difficult uh toxic people around you you are feeling pretty trapped in this job here and pretty controlled. You can see this uh, duck or this goose in the bottle over there. So it feels as though, uh, you know, you're feeling a bit stuck, uh, you know, as though uh, and feeling a little isolated as well from everybody else. Um, so there is a need for you to get together with some people or, or people around you. You know, if there's any kind of social event that is going on at your workplace, you do need to go out and go and have a little bit of fun. So in the past over here, this is about just getting on with things and being, you know, getting on with the day-to-day day -day tasks. This is about being ordinary, just doing the things, uh, being mundane. Uh, you know, it, it might be very routine, whatever it is you're doing at the moment. And uh, this is about, uh, you know, appreciating uh, all your accomplishments as well. So maybe you've been looking to see what you have achieved and how far you have come. And, uh, you, know, uh, you know, you've had to work pretty hard. There was a lot of problems that you had to face and a lot of difficulties that you overcome. And you have now, um, you know, come out with, you know, you've transformed quite a bit. So there's a need for you to pat yourself on the back for having done so much and come so far. So there might be some uh, travel that is coming up for you as far as your work goes. So there might be, uh, you know, you going out, uh, maybe whatever you're doing. This could be a, a business trip that is coming up for you in the future. And whatever, you know, uh, it's work related and you're going to have to be using your mind quite a bit over there. Thinking yourself uh, out of whatever that situation is. Uh, you know, that whatever uh, trip this is, it's going to require a lot of mental effort as well. So. Uh, there might be some kind of problem that you're going to go and sort out, uh, but you're going to be very, very focused on that particular work and having to do uh, a lot of maybe research, a lot of thinking as well involved with that job. So there's some kind of trip coming up for you, uh, but it's going to require a lot of um, hard work on your part and a lot of mental hard work and strategy as well. You might well be dealing with, uh, you know, people that are very cunning. And so you're going to have to outsmart them in whatever this uh, business trip is that you're going to be taking. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to draw some cards from the um, Black Cat Tarot. Bottom of the deck, you got that five of pentacles over here. This is uh, about feeling lack. This is about financial loss. This is about, you know, having to scrounge a little bit for money. So, you know, maybe your um, bills or whatever it is you're paying out is much more than whatever you're earning. And you're having to, uh, you know, um, really tighten your belt quite a bit, um, you know, to make ends meet. So you're going through quite a difficult financial uh, period at this particular moment, um, you know. You can see there, you know, the card below that would be uh, that uh, four of pentacles. So maybe even um, you're even going into your savings right now, juggling a lot of finances over there. 
So we're going through a, a lot of problems as far as finances go, and it looks like um, uh, you know, uh, going through a period of uh, a lot of lack right now. You're working very, very hard. You're very, very focused on that work there. You can see that's the three of coins. Uh, it's not paying very well. You can see there's only a few coins over there, but you are still focused on that work nonetheless. Um, and maybe working very, very independently using all your skills over there. Now, there's somebody around you. Maybe you're even going for a loan. Uh, you know, you, you, it seems like you're needing to borrow money maybe uh, with that uh, six of pentacles. So somebody may be giving you a helping hand financially um, because you're having that period where you're going through that lock, a lack and this job is not paying a lot. So you might be going and asking somebody for money or a loan at this particular moment. You will get that money. There might be a lot of paperwork that you have to do to get a hold of that loan. But it looks like um, you know somebody is going to be there to give you that helping hand to get you out of that ditch that you seem to be in at the moment because you can see this person in the ditch there and there's somebody coming to help them out of it um, I don't know if you can see that so it looks like you know although you're working very very hard you are going to be or you have asked somebody for help financial help this could be like I said in the form of loan uh, but and it looks like that's coming through for you there it will come to, uh, come in for you now, whatever situation you're working with, you've got the devil over there. So it looks like you're dealing with quite a difficult, toxic situation. People seem to be very, very much against you. You're working by yourself over there. Uh, but, you know, nobody has your best interests at heart over here. And you're being controlled quite a bit, quite manipulated. And you're feeling very, very stuck because, you know, you're working very, very hard at this particular job. And it doesn't seem like it's paying off too well. Uh, you're using all your skills. So, uh, you know, you're very, very good at what you do. Uh, and you might be even a single parent and trying to make ends meet over there with that Queen of Swords over there because she's the divorcee of that, um, you know, the tarot. But you can see very, very skilled work is what you're doing at this moment. You're very, very focused on it as well. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, working very, very, very hard at what you're doing right now. So what's in your mind? You want to leave this particular situation. I think you've had enough there. You're looking for that exit door. Uh, and you're waiting for an opportunity. You're hoping for an opportunity to come in for you so that you can get out of this particular situation. Now, going to the future, you've got this page of um, swords over here. So it looks like there might be something that comes in for you. There might be some news that comes in that allows you to get out of this particular situation. You can see this cat's flying above and moving through this gap. So it, there might be something that comes in. There's a bird coming in over there. So some kind of news coming in uh, so that you can actually leave this particular situation. So you might actually be able to move on. Uh, there's also the judgment card over here. This, so this is ending a very, very difficult situation. You can see the, the sun is shining down very harshly on this ground and everything is dying over here. So, you know, the judgment card is about leaving an old situation and moving on to something new, being given a second chance to start something new somewhere else. So you're going to have to make some kind of choice. This is a judgment call about you making a choice as to whether you want to stay here or move on. And since there's a major arcana card, it looks like if you don't move on, uh, you know, you, events will come in so that you change and move on. So these are going to be events beyond your control where you make a big change and get out of the situation because it doesn't seem to be serving you because it's not producing enough finances for you. It's not meeting your needs. And so it looks like you're going to be making some kind of decision and moving on. And here you can see, you know, trying to make a decision and maybe moving on. So it looks like there is going to be some kind of door that opens up for you, for you to move out of here. You've even got the chariot. So this is moving away from the old and moving forward. So you do need to take control of that situation, but it looks like you might even be moving home or relocating or doing this particular job somewhere else or just moving on uh, with the chariot card. So with the judgment card being called to make that decision to move on, being given a second chance or starting afresh somewhere else. And with a chariot card, it is definitely moving on or relocating um, and, and starting something new afresh somewhere else. You are refocusing or, uh, you know, reviewing all your goals over here with that King of Cups and maybe waiting for some kind of offer to come in as well or hoping for an offer to come in as well. So going to the future, uh, you've got the star card over there. You've got the five of cups over here, and you can see the eight of cups. So the star card is wanting to take your skills and start working somewhere else, refocusing, finding your goal, being very hopeful about things as well. So whatever you've learned, you want to take it and apply it to something brand new and start afresh somewhere else um, with that star card. And then you are feeling very disappointed in wherever you are at the moment. You feel as though they've let you down. 
uh, and you're feeling very isolated as well, very unsupported as well. And you're very, you know, you're crying about it. You're very depressed about being in this particular situation. So it looks like you do want to move on, and it looks like you are going to be moving on. You've got the Eight of Cups leaving this particular job, taking your skills and moving on to something brand new. So it looks like, um, you know, this is not going to be where you stay or where you end up at. You're going to be moving on. Uh, you know, you made your mind up, it seems, with this uh, page of swords. There's some news coming in for you. It looks, it seems like this particular situation is not um, allowing you to grow, to prosper, because you've got that sun beating down um, on this landscape and with the judgment card you're being called to make that decision to move on and look it seems like you will make that decision and move on even with that eight of cups you will leave behind this particular situation and move on so i'm just going to draw some cards from the fairy tarot and the first card is the five of spring which says opposing goals arising from differing opinions feeling at odds with yourself or others and overly ambitious people. So wherever you're working at, you know, it seems like a really toxic situation. You've got the devil card over there, uh, and it seems like uh, there's a lot of conflict fighting going on. You're, you're dealing with a lot of competitive people, uh, you know, who are not really looking out for your best interests. Um, and so maybe this is the reason why you have made up your mind that you want to leave. The nine of autumn says, reward yourself for all your hard work, being happily and successfully self-employed, cherishing your time alone. So, you know, money will come in for you. This nine of autumn is going to bring in money and it's going to give you some, that financial independence that you're looking for. So that abundance will come in for you. It, looks, it seems like you're going to go off by yourself uh, and go and do something else. Um, and it's going to bring in that financial independence for you. And the Empress card is also about wealth and abundance coming in. But it's time to take action, the power of creativity, success that allows for life of luxury. So you, it seems like you might start a new job that's going to be very, very well paid over there. You give you a lot more independence. And you know, you're going to be very much in charge uh, with that Empress card because this is the card ruled by Venus and this is about abundance coming in. So it's going to allow you to have some extra cash in hand so that you're not scrounging or you're not looking to see where your next coin is coming from and you're not having to ask for loans. So it, it seems like you know, this news is going to be coming in. You're going to be maybe cutting ties here with this old job and moving on, you know, signing new contracts with this new job here and definitely moving on, maybe even re relocating to start something afresh, but it's going to pay off very, very well with the Nine of Autumn and the Empress card over there. And then the people that you're dealing with are very, very difficult. Um, you know, even maybe going for this new job is going to be a bit difficult. There's a bit of, a lot of competition for it, but it looks like you will achieve. If you're going for this job and you're going after it, it looks like you will get that job. You will be successful in, in getting it. And it's going to definitely bring in the finances. So I hope this reading has resonated uh, with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.